Hi guys, so, um, uh, put a comment, check out my muscles, uh, leave a like, and subscribe to my channel, and share this video among the friends. And if you don't have the friends, make them and share it, just for this purpose, okay? No, no, just a work, you know? Okay, so let's go. So, first thing I would like to do now is uh, go to the uh, channel that I showed you previously. And I would like to write this guy to... I'm not sure that he's checking anything. Uh, because, like, as, as I understand, he just publishes uh, his streams from Twitch. Anyway, I'll do that. Right. First, on Twitch, I will also think I try. So... I will ask him, uh, hi man, you watched, um, let's uh, create uh, some content together, uh, if uh, you agree, right? Um, okay, and yeah, maybe let's, by the way, check, do I have any comments, okay? Mm -hmm. Don't have any, okay. Wow, wow, what? Somebody have this subscribed and he has like a lot of followers. Uh, wow, man. Wow. Wow, man. Oh, wow. Wow. A lot of uh, very big numbers. Why don't you so make videos? You're pretty cool. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, anyway, let's go. So, today, as always, uh, as I mean, for last... Uh, uh, so the plan is to continue and I just remind you, so what do we basically do here? So, um, here is the deal, you know, uh, so here is the programming, okay, but um, how to, I mean, no, I will not just explain, so I will explain basically what I'm doing. So, um, here is a program called Vim, V-I-M, um, basically it's a text editor and it's, uh, it's a uh, text editor, yeah, and that's all. So probably, uh, well, some some of you may not know it, but anyway, it, it is an editor, and that's all. So uh, yeah, just uh, Uganda guy. So what is the deal? So it has an an open source code, okay? So you can actually check it out. It's open source, and it is written like on C. Of course, it has like its own language. It's own language, but of course uh, the kernel of it is reading on C. And basically, um, I don't know. It's just a cool program. I mean, I it is like probably the most frequently used program by me, um, and it's pretty cool. I mean, uh, how it works and its mechanics is is pretty cool and hard and complex. So. So I just started to dive deep in this code, and uh, on the last video we we finished uh, with uh, main. We don't finish, sorry. We continued with the main C. So here is the main C, and I have finished here. So yeah. So let's continue from here. Um, so basically, what we are doing is just reviewing code. We are not compiling anything. We are not changing anything. We just just uh, looks look through. So first it is interesting, second we can learn something, and third it's sometimes fun. Okay, parse common name, and also it, uh, by the way, I, I learned a lot like f about the Vim itself. <laughs> okay, so it's cool, like, you know, if you have some programs that you like and it's open source, uh, maybe you should also try to, to look through it, okay? So let's go. Parse common name, so it's like some parsing, get tail, which kind of interesting. So basically, it is—it is really kind of. In the, we are taking some 
argument and getting the tail of it where it is. So this one is future while uh, prog name we need to add on this and um, prog pass. Okay, so it's pretty easy, right? Because first argument is like a pass to our executable. Uh, to lower ASK. So I think ASK is like uh, it's like an, an order, no? Something like that. Okay, so we see like uh, R, uh, which is like first, right? Okay, continuing to the next. Um, mm, uh, yeah. So, 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 so FG. Okay. So we're doing something restricted, okay? Uh, use EV mode for EV. Sounds like I will have a Vim. Uh, EG Vim for not for. Um, not for something. Um, yeah, that's cool. Mm. Okay, anyway. Um, to lower E. Okay, E. V or G, we are starting GUI or EVIM. GVIM starts the GUI, also accept GVIM for MS Windows. Uh, main start GUI, do spawn, do spawn, spawn, do spawn. No need to spawn a new process. GUI do spawn true. If GUI may spawn, may spawn. Not GVIM, need to spawn GVIM exam. Uh, string compare, I guess, uh, string view, uh, view read only mode, uh, and what is this? Don't update very often. Uh, okay, so it's like a milliseconds, may, maybe. Uh, um, VIM, nothing is done here. Um, catch vim diff and view diff. Uh, so diff mode equals true and messages. If not, diff diff feature. Oh, yeah, nice. Checking for x. Uh, here may catch some weird wired names such as vmax or emax. <laughs> Uh, Unix, we assume the user knows that. Um, so yeah, check for X, check for E, and X, X mode V mode, X mode normal, change compatibility. Scan the command line arguments. I think we already did that, but anyway. <sighs> so while we have some argument, we do. <clears throat> We check for a plus and uh, check for maximum. Extra argument is given the error. Uh, skip the next argument. And commands we add. No. Not. If it's not an argument, we add dollar. If it's an argument, we add it. Optional argument is minus. VMS. Only uses uppercase command lines and interpret minus six s minus six and minus six s minus six. Uh, if uh, c equals slash, then then arc v. Uh, so yeah, so we're definitely going like further. Uh, and then we do the uppercase, and otherwise we do lowercase. We then switch off null vim read from std in or yeah so it's like when we are not going anything after this minus it's like read from std in um too many arguments skip the next to next argument if it's minus we can have like a lot of stuff don't take any more option arguments Help version clean literal. What's it to take files literal? What does it mean? Uh, startup time of name log no fork. Don't fork. Okay, this is quite. Why do I want to not fork? Mm. 
don't warn don't warn for not a term. GUI dialog file name. DTI fail. No plugins. CMD. So it's it's help. Just use it. If it's version, we just say like list version. If it's clean, then what does it mean? Just clean stuff. So so no params, right? If literal, we say just some config. If no fork, we also no fork. No plugin, not a term. Uh, if it's GUI dialog file, we then want an argument. TTI fail. Oh. Want argument. Again, want argument. Want argument. Why is it y plus 3? Because it's like the number, okay, so please. Okay, yeah, it's it's a little bit obvious, right? Y11 and hero y3, but not sure that's so obvious. Uh, client, okay, we have a server list. Why does this one is not here? Um, server name, server send. Uh, snatch is the following arc. If defined fit GUI GTK, then socket ID, window ID. Strange, right? How this is connected to graphics? Maybe because graphics are working on socket and window by default, I know. Uh, a whole window already processed, skipped. Okay, so why do we even have this? Unknown option. A mm. hey, starts in Arabic mode. Okay, I did not definitely don't didn't knew it. Um, set option value Arabic. Okay. Okay. Arabic. Uh, analytical to one. Uh, otherwise, it's not Arabic. Um, break B is binary mode needs to be effective before expanding file names because for Windows 32 this makes us edit a shortcut file itself instead of the file it links to OK. And it's actually interesting mode, I didn't use it, so I accept it as handy for uh, binary files, right? Uh, change compatible, okay, I have no idea. Okay, X mode. Improved X mode. Uh, GUI running foreground. Amiga open window directly, not with new CLI. Okay, it's kind of quite nice that we are like using Amiga. Again, I don't think Amiga is supported yet, but let's check. Okay, okay, it's still. Yeah, it's still supported. Okay, it's quite cool. Maybe we should try that one one day. What does it say? Remember when computing was fun? Wait, it's like paid? Oh my god, it's actually paid. Okay, it's actually paid, right? Okay, okay, Vim, okay, I got you. You are tolerant to paid stuff. Um, okay, start GUI, okay. Was for Farsi mode, what is Farsi? Wow, it has been removed, nice. So it's deprecation, right? Uh, give help message, the same as this one. Uh, tell usage, okay. Uh, Hebrew, Hebrew mode. Okay, it's quite fun. Um, yeah, 
what is her role, but HP my set. Um, okay. Um, Lisp mode again. This is really fun. I mean, what is a Lisp doing in the modes of Vim? Set option value give error char Lisp. PCM true. Uh, no changes or writing of files. No writing of files. Okay, so it's some deprecation in, in launch. Easy mode, okay. I didn't try it at all. Uh, GUI starting true. Okay, so it's like always GUI when you are in easy mode, okay. Uh, but it's like easy V mode, right? Okay. No compatible. No swap file, okay, it's quite handy. Checking for an bin and bins parameter, okay, it's net bins, okay. Uh, open and tabs, okay, I don't know that, why do I need to open tabs for some reason, because an argument like uh, is passed in when invoke from finder or with open command. Okay, my course, okay, quite nice. Uh, so we try as main strong GUI. Default is zero. Uh, okay, Makos, what is this number? I'm to think. Uh, default is zero. Okay, so this is probably the one reason for not using Mac, Mac, make Mac OS. Uh, default is zero. Open a window for each file. Okay. Uh, window layout, window steps. Or wind tabs, or window tabs, right? Uh, o is open and horizontal split windows. Okay, it's quite cool. Open a window for each file. Window layout, windows horizontal. Okay, escape it all. Wait, what, why, why does this is here is no tab? Uh, open and vertical split windows, okay. Uh, then quick fix, so we are going in quick fix mode, and if you know, it's like compile error, highlight and jump. Uh, okay, why do I wear headphones? I don't need them at all. <clears throat> um, so, if I don't have any edit none, uh, edit type, edit quick fix, okay. So now we get an error file. Uh, error read only mode. And don't update very often. And I can say this could be done in a function because we already saw that, right? Uh, recovery mode, recovery mode, okay. Uh, okay, error is okay, but capital L. Recovery mode equals one, okay. S, silent patch mode. Read from script file. Um, tag, jump to tag, okay. Edit type, uh, edit none. Main error, okay. Edit type, edit tag. Tag name is uh, our param. Want argument true? If it's like two words. Case D debugging. Okay, and this is quite interesting. What is debugging? Use debug break level. Nine, 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 nine. Okay, and it's quite fun, right? Uh, bit different. Okay, so if we are in diff, uh, then it's diff. Capital is debugging and small is diff. Check for dev device. Okay, and it's quite fun. Okay, it's Amiga stuff. Okay, nice. Okay, so we are getting like really a lot of code connected to Amiga. It's quite fun. Um, it makes me want to use it, but again, it's paid. So. Uh, okay, so we just like parse like dev. Um, 
So what is this? Uh, yeah, by the way, guys, I want to ask one guy something. One guy asked what I wanted. Um, capital V verbose level, okay? So verbosity. Uh, a little bit verbose. <laughs> Nice comment. Uh, we're both get number of hearts. Okay, so we are getting a number of hearts. No, no, no. We are just getting the number of. I don't know what is exactly. Set option value. Ah, okay. So we are getting like uh, this number, right? So, by the way, we not check if we have a space between. That's quite strange, right? I mean, it's a. Uh, it's a problem, right? Um, but anyway, we get it, and we just. Uh, Set option value, okay, so we are just setting it. We are even not converting it to number, and this can be also a problem, right? Uh, what if it's wrong? Uh, v mode. V mode, like reload. You know, v mode. Uh, X mode, X song, we starting full, false, okay, and this is strange, right? So if you press minus V, we say like, okay, so it looks like maybe VI did not have. Um, graphics at all, so that's fine. Set window height again. This is quite cool, but I don't see the sync between. Uh, Vim is digit. Okay, so we are blah blah blah. So we just window window and the number window height. And this is not a graphics, so it's strange for me. Okay, we have some cryptography. So we can actually read like crypto files and that's cool, right? Yeah, this was, uh, I was uh, I was surprised when seeing like it's earlier. So it's like, can really like deal with uh, crypt cryptography like this case. and Yeah, so minus X don't connect to X server. <laughs> it's quite fun. I don't know, it makes me fun, guys. Don't connect to X server. If defined Unix and defined fit X, X no connect. So how do we... Yeah, by the way, what about Wayland? So is uh, Vim is not capable of Wayland? That's the question. Uh, yeah, maybe just let's, by the way, look quickly. Uh, issues. Okay, we have a lot of issues, but we also have a lot of pull requests. So let's search for Wayland. I don't know, is it proper search, but let's try without it and search for NCs to get the hang of searching. Yeah, it's yeah. So there is no pull request regarding uh, Wayland. Okay, and for those who don't know. Wayland is another uh, X server alternative, and maybe you can find it here. Wayland. Yep. Okay. Mm, I don't see saying like Wayland explicitly here, uh, and I don't see. Ah, okay. Okay, Vim has a Wayland support. Okay. Okay, it's it's. It's perfect. And the guy gives a perfect video, right? How he uses Wayland. By the way, he uses Wayland. Debian 12. Okay, Debian 12 is quite old, right? Debian. Uh, Debian, Debian, Debian. Okay, Debian 12. Okay, it's quite new. Um, Okay, guys, so let's continue. So, what do we have? X no connect. Well, yeah, that's strange, right? Because. Oh, okay, don't connect. Okay. Uh, restricted mode, I don't know. Uh, comma, that's some comma code. Right? <coughs> So yeah, we set it to comments, right? We set it to comments, so we can have multiple. Fall through. Execute your script. User of all the info. Uh, device.
is for a main gun. Terminal name. Uh, v main needs file. V main needs file. Uh, or write parent title. It's like a read uh, One argument. Yep. So we read next argument. Um, default they are known, of course. And the option. Okay, so in the option argument, so if I want argument, check garbage immediately after the option letter import garbage. Uh, some garbage, I don't know. Uh, strange, right? Uh, okay, RPC. Yeah, so if it's not like a minus C because minus C is optional. Then we don't have one. Then we just check that C is a execute command or Rim script file. And if that's the case, we uh, of course check some exception. And then we just if we file, then we check. Uh, we use default session file name. This is the default one. Um, yeah. So if minus minus s followed by another option use default okay so okay that's okay else uh, it is like we are taking the actual name okay and then we of course allocate and uh, we write to the allocated memory and we pass it we pass it to the our command list uh, otherwise command is like yeah, we're just like directly doing it. Not sure why we're not directly doing it here, but we're actually allocating. Uh, okay, so this one is uh, C, so execute command also, right? So what is the difference? S is like more file, but this is like a command. Uh, so again, yeah, some exception. Uh, adding adding commands to command list. Uh, if we are talking about GUI dialog, uh, we are just like getting this file name. If startup file name already handled, log file already handled, that's great. Um, okay, this one is commented out, right? Um, but it's like for Amiga, right? Um, quick fix, so is if Q, then of course we just. Uh, Save this file I mean to our some variable. If uh, use for vminfo, we just uh, so basically in all of these comments we just basically like save the arguments somewhere. You know? So here is some errors, a lot of errors. And why don't we like merge them? Maybe this function is lacking of merging stuff. Uh, Weak bean, okay, this one is interesting. So we try to open the file, and if we can, of course, we do this uh, out of memory, okay. By the way, which file we are opening? It's like the file with the script, like, right? Uh, okay, so tag name, we are saving it to tag name, terminal name, we are. Um, yeah, so it's overriding, right? How is it overriding? Uh, so if we're talking about GUI, it's like, uh, I don't know what we're doing. Uh, if we're talking about terminal, uh, we are seeing like term is equals what we have in the argument. Uh, we may need file again, just save. The same goes here. Window value, okay, this is interesting because after that we have some digits, so we are passing this one and get number arc. We are just getting that and then setting the window. Also, uh, strip out, uh, go to script error, okay. Uh, otherwise, we are opening it and find it all right. And the parent title is quite similar, well, it's for Windows. Okay, final argument. Skip the next argument, check for only uh, one type of editing. Um, okay, 
so too many apps uh, after that we are just setting it to edit file okay in case of file we need to set it uh, it is done if we set it done okay remember if the argument was a full pass before changing slashes to backslashes okay and this one is interesting because it's like uh, windows stuff right so windows we have some backslashes some slashes so it's the point of confusion which is handled by this one uh, add the file to the global argument list so we have some global argument list and we are just adding that um, if it's not diff oh wait if it's diff then what then we draw just concat how do we concat f names uh, why do we concat okay so we are getting tails p what is p so p is current directory right and this one is getting tail okay i'm not sure about this code but basically lose sometimes names right and pass uh, and this one is interesting if we are c green c green is like special stuff for windows right uh, by a non c green convert uh, way and it does passes such as are created correctly look for evidence of before we bother this is only when using the unix files again this is like for windows right uh, POSIX, so we are changing to the POSIX. Uh, and this here is some uh, version of CGreen that needs to to do this in extra fashion instead of this one. Uh, okay, so we are saying anyway, I will pass. Use F name case, make case of the file name match the actual file. Yeah, why not? Uh, we are link our file. In the end, and then if we are expanding file names, we're just doing two or zero, two, three, okay, not very good. Um, uh, and if we are not expanding, we are just two. Okay, so it's strange because anyway we get two, right? Ah, okay, it's literal, so it's not expanding. Or expanding. Uh, here is some other window stuff. So remember, this argument has been added to the argument. Needed when encoding is changed. Okay, so it's hard to know when encoding. So here is some additional arguments. Um, okay, if there are no more letters after the query, and go to next argument. Arg add is, is set to minus one when the current argument is to be skipped. Yes, we already saw that strange that this comment is not appearing earlier uh, okay so yeah we are skipping that I forgot what does this do if there is a plus one two three or c comma uh, set v swap command to the first one this is not clear for me even I know that this one is referring to the specific line and don't still understand what is um, allocation so okay we are allocating and getting one to three um, and then we launch this one so that we var string swap command again this is quite strange for the swap command I mean is it swapping like two files or I don't remember for int warning if std always in general when starting next mode uh, and the comments come from a file set silent mode check TTY TTY uh, is it is a TTY is an active input or terminal input is TTY well basically we are using this command which I think is pretty using the API of Linux it's more reactive input is TTY silent mode so if you are full screen guys then don't want to do any silent on the desktop but otherwise, uh, I don't know. If uh, NetBeans debug, this should be necessary, but if I, uh, I run NetBeans with the local output, 
I mean, who run? Who else runs? Like, you guys, let's be honest. Like, who runs NetBeans? Except the creator of NetBeans. Okay. Uh, with the log outputs coming to the console and X open display files, I get Vim trying to start with input output to my console TTY. This fills my input buffer so fast I can't even kill the process in under two minutes, and it beeps continuously the whole time. Okay, I like this comment. Okay, this is like more like a, a cool story, you know. Yeah. If NetBeans uh, as TTI, then Vim error failed to slow to slow GVim from NetBeans. So yeah, I don't still understand why you, you want to use uh, Vim and NetBeans. Well, the answer should be easy. You want to use both, right? Um, okay. So sick is something sick. Think it's sick Vim or something else. Have been text. Uh, Defined fit that takes to free no. set the encoding of the error message based on the LCO or other environment values instead of encoding. Okay, so yeah, this one is encoding. Okay, note that the message is shown in the secret term in a mean TTY. Okay, so we are talking a lot about something like C green. <laughs> Probably you should know it, it's like Windows stuff. So. Each encoding is based on LCO, power, etc., not the current code base used by normal Win32 console programs. Okay, by the way, I, I, I want to say that I like to read this code more than I like to read the uh, actual documentation of uh, Vim. But here I can like understand, you know, really understand something in it. Um, to free, okay, it's nice operators in quotes. Uh, we are encoding local environment now, uh, which is pretty strange, right? So if it's now, we set it to UTF-8. This, this is default, right? Uh, and here is a special void. I don't see any case for this one. Uh, but it's like explicitly saying something, right? Uh, bin text domain code set vim package as... So what is vim package? Maybe it is a package, so we have like a lot of packages so it's like a package one code code set so utf8 is one package and the latin one is in another package and so on um yes the version of vim does not deliver run in synchronous it's, it's pretty sad right yeah let's go guys okay guys uh, i want to finish this video because um I think it's been so long, so uh, leave a like, uh, push a subscribe button, leave a comment, uh, share this video with your friends. If you don't have them, uh, create them, make them, and just for sharing my content, okay? Goodbye.